Hey everyone. Mastering the trading psychology is an essential, yet often overlooked, aspect of becoming a successful trader. By mastering the psychology aspect of trading, one can cultivate the mental resilience and discipline necessary to navigate the highs and lows of the markets, maintain consistency in decision making, and ultimately achieve long term success. Trading psychology is the game changer that separates successful traders from the rest. It's not just about the strategies you use or the market knowledge you have, it's about controlling your emotions and mindset. In 2024, mastering trading psychology is more crucial than ever, with markets becoming increasingly volatile and unpredictable. First, let's talk about fear and greed, the two emotions that dominate the trading world. Fear can paralyze you, making you hesitate or avoid taking necessary risks. Greed, on the other hand, can push you to overtrade or hold onto a position longer than you should, hoping for just a little more profit. The key is to recognize when these emotions are influencing your decisions. The moment you feel fear or greed creeping in, take a step back. Remind yourself of your trading plan and stick to it. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in trading. It's about staying present and focused, not letting past mistakes or future worries cloud your judgment. Before making any trade, take a moment to center yourself. Check in with your emotions. Are you feeling anxious, excited, or impatient? Acknowledge those feelings, but don't let them dictate your actions. The best traders are those who can stay calm and clear-headed, even in the face of market chaos. Next, let's dive into the importance of having a solid trading plan. A well-thought-out plan gives you a roadmap to follow, helping you stay disciplined. It outlines your entry and exit points, risk management strategies, and the criteria for taking a trade. When emotions run high, your plan is your anchor. It keeps you grounded and prevents you from making impulsive decisions. Remember, the market doesn't care about your emotions, it only responds to your actions. Risk management is another critical aspect of trading psychology. Protecting your capital should always be your top priority. This means never risking more than you can afford to lose on a single trade. Set your stop losses and stick to them. It's easy to get emotionally attached to a trade, hoping it will turn around, but that's a dangerous game. Accept losses as part of the process. They're inevitable, but they don't have to be catastrophic if you manage your risk properly. Trading psychology is full of unique insights that can really set you apart from the average trader. It's not just about reading charts or understanding market trends, it's about mastering the mental game. Think of trading as a mirror. Every decision you make reflects something about your personality. Are you someone who avoids conflict or prefers certainty? This might make you hesitate when it's time to pull the trigger on a trade. On the flip side, if you're impulsive or a thrill seeker, you might find yourself diving into trades without much thought. By understanding how your personality traits show up in your trading, you can better control your impulses and make more calculated decisions. The concept of loss aversion is fascinating. It's the idea that losses hurt more than gains feel good. For many traders, the fear of losing money is so powerful that it can lead to bad decisions, like holding onto losing positions for too long in hopes of a turnaround. Recognizing this bias is key to overcoming it. Once you do, you can start seeing losses as just part of the game, no more, no less. Another interesting element is decision fatigue. Trading requires constant decision making, and after a while, your brain gets tired. This can lead to sloppy trades, where you might ignore your own rules or take unnecessary risks. The trick is to take breaks. Step away from the screen, refresh your mind, and come back with a clear head. This way, every trade is approached with the same level of attention and care. Let's talk about the paradox of choice. With so many trading strategies and tools available, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. This can actually lead to inaction, where you're paralyzed by the fear of making the wrong choice. Simplifying your approach can help. Stick to a few strategies that you know well and trust, and don't get distracted by every new shiny object that comes along. The illusion of control is another psychological trap. As traders, we often think we have more control over the market than we really do. This can lead to overconfidence, where you believe your predictions are guaranteed to come true. 
The market is unpredictable, and the sooner you accept that, the better you'll become at managing your trades without letting ego get in the way. There's also the idea of anchoring. This is when you place too much importance on one piece of information, like the price at which you entered a trade. You might hold on to a position simply because you're anchored to that entry price, even when all other indicators are telling you to exit. Learning to stay flexible and adjust your strategy as new information comes in is crucial. Pattern recognition is another interesting aspect. As humans, we're wired to look for patterns, even when they don't exist. This can lead to seeing signals in the market that aren't really there, causing you to make trades based on faulty assumptions. The challenge is to train your mind to recognize true patterns, backed by data, rather than falling for random coincidences. Then there's the idea of emotional contagion. It's when the emotions of other traders, especially in group settings like forums or social media, start to influence your own decisions. If everyone's panicking, you might start to panic too, even if your own analysis tells you otherwise. Being aware of this can help you stay grounded and make decisions based on your own research, rather than the emotional swings of the crowd. Visualization is a powerful tool often overlooked in trading. Before you start your day, take a moment to visualize yourself making calm, informed decisions. Picture yourself handling both wins and losses with ease. This mental rehearsal can set a positive tone for your trading day, helping you stay focused and composed no matter what happens. Finally, consider the concept of growth mindset. In trading, as in life, challenges are inevitable. But if you approach each one as an opportunity to learn and grow, rather than a threat, you'll become more resilient. Embrace the idea that every mistake is a chance to improve, and over time, this mindset will not only enhance your trading but also your overall satisfaction with the process. By understanding and applying them, you can develop a mindset that not only improves your trading performance but also helps you navigate the ups and downs with greater ease and confidence. Confidence in trading comes from preparation and experience. But overconfidence can be just as dangerous as fear. It's that feeling that you can't lose, that you've cracked the code of the market. The reality is, no one can predict the market with 100% accuracy. Stay humble, and always respect the market. When you start thinking you're invincible, that's when mistakes happen. Finally, continuous learning is key. The markets are always evolving, and so should you. Stay curious, keep refining your strategies, and learn from both your wins and losses. Analyze your trades regularly to understand what worked and what didn't. Trading is as much a mental game as it is a technical one. The more you understand your own psychology, the better trader you'll become. In 2024, mastering trading psychology means being aware of your emotions, sticking to your plan, managing your risk, and never getting complacent. It's a journey, not a destination. The more you practice, the better you'll get at staying calm, disciplined, and focused, no matter what the market throws at you. Alright, so there you have it. Remember, it's all about making smart choices, staying consistent, and being patient. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. And hey, if you've got any tips or personal stories about your journey to mastering trading psychology, drop them in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep hustling and chasing those dreams.